pollutants are being emitted into the air from coal-fired power plants. Carbon pollution makes our air dirty and threatens our health, especially for children, the elderly, communities of color, and low-income residents. That's not right, that's not safe, and it needs to stop. When the air that we breathe is dirty, it can get sick. I run track and I play basketball, so if I don't have air, I wouldn't be able to succeed in these sports and all that stuff because if you just get ready and you're finished running and you get really tired, you have to be able to breathe in air to help yourself. Reju reju you're rejuvenating yourself to keep going. Clean air is very fresh. If the air was dirty, I wouldn't be able to breathe. Clean air is, it is something that helps people live. It helps the, it helps the trees grow and it helps people's lungs. People don't want to breathe dirty air. They want to breathe clean air. Clean air is so important to us, to the world, because that is one of the major sources of life. We need clean air because, I mean, how are we supposed to breathe? That's what we live off of. And having smog, pollution, littering, that's infecting our earth, and that will eventually infect our bodies as humans, animals, and vegetation around us. Therefore, we need clean air, so we need to take care of our earth. We need to take care of our communities, societies, and overall our world. And that's our, that's our responsibility as people. God gave us this earth to, as a temporary home, and we need to protect it and keep it clean. My mom said I couldn't go outside today because the air quality is really poor. I hope it gets better tomorrow. Can come inside from the outside and it causes kids not to have the fresh air not to be able to do the same level of movement and it can impact their learning and focus capabilities we've had students have asthma attacks just walking across the parking lot and we later sometimes can find out that the air quality had shifted so considerably in a short period of time that parents weren't even able to notify us that their kids could not be outside so we've seen every level of it I believe that it's absolutely possible for us to see a much higher success level in calming our air and allowing us to get rid of the small layer of smog that a lot of people are not necessarily aware of in the city of Atlanta. I believe our kids would have more access to the outdoors at a much better rate of participation so that our kids will possibly have a brighter future. President Obama has ordered the Environmental Protection Agency to release the first ever national carbon emissions limits for all of America's existing coal-fired power plants. That's why last year I put forward America's first climate action plan. This plan cuts carbon pollution by building a clean energy economy, using more clean energy, less dirty energy, and wasting less energy throughout our economy. If we pass that law, then that would just be awesome. That would make our air cleaner and much better to breathe because you know you have people with major health probably help them. We want to keep everybody safe and that will only make our living space safer. Tell the EPA you support the proposed rule to limit harmful carbon pollution from power plants. You can send a comment today. Thanks to the President's Climate Action Plan, we have a path forward to fight climate change by cutting carbon pollution from our biggest source, power plants. When President Obama thinks about climate change, he's thinking not just as the president, but he's thinking as a parent. Because it's future generations, it's your generation, that will inherit this planet. How we answer will have a profound impact on the world that we leave behind, not just to you, but to your children and to your grandchildren. As a president, as a father, and as an American, I'm here to say, we need to act. And this is my plan to meet.